Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Okersey. Um, I hope you guys have been enjoying your little quarantine and have been getting lots of time outside. Um, Mr. Okersey is in the backyard, so let's go see what he's up to. Oh, hey guys. Got me working on my mansion back here. Check it out. I got Scuba Steve here, making him a little, a little home. And you know what? I've been thinking to myself, I wonder where Scuba Steve wants me to put his beautiful, beautiful home. I've had a couple of ideas, right? So my first thought is, check this out. I got a nice sandy patch right here. Beautiful, beautiful, just beautiful sand. So let's see what happens when I set Scuba Steve's little home down right here, huh? Okay. Uh, a little rickety. What do you guys think? I think we can do better. I think we can, here, let's try this. Let's bring it over here. What do you think, Scuba? Can we do better? I'd say so. Okay, look at this now. We've got a nice, hard stone surface. Oh yes, look at that, no shaking. You like that, Scuba? He said yes. What do you guys think? A little better than the sand patch, right? You know, this situation here with Scuba Steve, it, it reminds me a little bit of a story um, that we hear Jesus tell in the book of Matthew. So in this story, Jesus tells us about a wise man who built his home on rock and also a foolish man who built his home on sand. And during Jesus's time, he would always use stories to teach everybody something much bigger. Um, and so in this case, he's teaching us that it's better and wiser for us to build a foundation in him who is our rock, instead of building it on something like sand, which falls apart super easy. So for us and in our life, what does that look like, Mr. L? Well, in our lives, building our foundation on a rock and being the wise man might mean that we read our Bible every day or we say a prayer before we eat or before we go to bed. These are ways that all of us can build our foundation on something firm instead of something like sand. So we just want you guys to know we miss you. We can't wait to get back to church and be in your classroom again. And we hope that you're spending so much time outside in the beautiful weather. And we hope you and your families are all super healthy too. Yep. All right. Time to get back to work. See you guys later.